in here and eventually we will so the trailer for Bill and Ted face the music dropped and it looked great to me I want to hear everybody else's thoughts and reactions before we get into talking about this a little bit like subscribe share comment this is a much needed break from everything that's going on to have a film to look forward to of course there are a couple films to look forward to such as Tenet or uh, that uh, Kevin Bacon movie that the trailer kind of reminds me of Stir of Echoes to a degree but Bill and Ted 3 face the music it, it is such a crazy thing to see this after so long these guys just drop into this role like they never left it and it what's really crazy is how Henry Reeves has become this lead action star ever since then he's become this very very pivotal actor that you can't imagine doing this kind of role anymore the kind of role he did I, I remember the original films vividly um, I might do reviews on them before this one drops in August of course I'm going to see this film and do a review on it uh, I was going to do a trailer reaction but my computer sucks <laughs> Um, the browser just like freezes when I tries, try to watch the trailer but the original came out in like 19 okay 1989 and 1991 is when the original came out and I watched those in probably the mid 90s when they when they came out I, I, I watched them and I really enjoyed them but even though the trailer looks great it's a very short trailer I have been incredibly concerned about this film because it has one of those films that talked about they're supposed to have daughters in there that replace they it, it sounds like it's being handed off to females but by the trailer you don't get that kind of feel or anything and what that was one of my concerns because this tends to happen a lot to films that had male leads beloved male leads they throw women in there and they water down the story they also stick the original beloved characters in the background in favor of new ones that happen to be female uh and it, it's always it always feels like they're trying to cash in on something in name only and then when it doesn't work out they call everybody sexist because oh they they can't stand strong female leads or, or some nonsense like that that's never the case it has nothing to do with that it's that the that the franchise was built on a, these certain characters that are so beloved and they usually get trashed or undermined stuck in the background so I've been really concerned with this one but you don't get any of that in this trailer at all any of that stuff so it's still up in the air because there are supposed to be they're supposed to have daughters in there and art, certain articles have already said all oh, their daughters are smarter than them or something to that extent um, but we don't get to see any of that in the trailer what we do get to see is pretty great and pretty awesome and it's like they never left these roles it's awesome to see that orion logo it's awesome to see these guys in there saying the things they used to say it looks hilarious um well it's not like a laugh out loud slapstick but it does look like it's gonna be somewhat funny however another concern is that comedy has changed drastically and most comedy today uh, comedy is a dying art form you can't do what you used to do and certain films are very much a comedy of their time a period they have a period sense of humor this kind of humor that kind of culture and it, it no longer exists um so it'll be interesting to see how it performs also long overdue sequels don't have the best track record of performing well uh, you've seen it with dumb and dumb air and other films it, it just doesn't have the best track record of doing well this one however it looks like it has a shot a shot at proving it can be done and i'm very curious to see because i don't think 
any long overdue sequels really performed all that well. After you know one, um, comment down below and let me know because I can't think of one for the life of me. Um, but this one looks like there's much hope. However, they, like I said, they haven't shed much light on it. So I'm very curious to see a more extensive trailer, a longer trailer that lets, gives us more of an idea of what we're in for. Um, I bet comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this subject and what you think of all of it. Do you think it's gonna be bad? Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you need to see a longer trailer before you can make the uh, a fair assessment on the subject? I'm very curious to hear people's thoughts on this on this one. Really curious. I want to know how it made people feel when they watched the trailer, especially if your original fans of the first two films. I really want to know how people feel about this. I used to have a friend that I called Keanu Reeves. Uh, well, I still have him as a friend in that he, he doesn't look like Keanu Reeves anymore, but I used to call him Keanu Reeves when I was a kid because he looked like a teenage Keanu Reeves. He looked like Keanu Reeves does in Bill and Ted. Um, and I used I also I used to have a friend that um, talked about he'd commit suicide if this ever came out. Of course, he said it jokingly and wasn't serious. Um, but that's because he expected it to be so bad that it's uh, it's just unimaginable and unthinkable that a Bill and Ted 3 could come out after all this time and what kind of humor would it have in this day and age so it, it's just funny anyways comment like subscribe share help circulate my channel help bring more attention to it I'd greatly appreciate that and just rock on.